Hey guys, it's Jenna, the owner of Elevate in Nelson, BC. Just hopping on here again for a weekly video. It has been a super crazy day in the studio, so this is gonna be a little bit of a short episode, but I did wanna just hop on here and provide some value for you guys because we are on the topic of classic lash courses and there is so much to say about that. But the biggest thing I think, uh, the number one thing that's so shocking for me when someone wants to be a lash artist is that when they have never had lash extensions before, how can you not have lash extensions and know that you're going to be passionate about them, that you're going to love them? that you're gonna know how to take care of them and that you can become a place of genuine passion about them. I do have the little classic lashes on. Thank you so much, Taylor. Taylor did my classic lash course just, um, oh, I think a couple months ago um, and she's doing amazing. We just did point ones for a really natural look. I just didn't wanna do anything too crazy. Really liking a natural look right now for myself. Anyway, so important to share your passion for lash extensions with people in a genuine way. And if you've never had lash extensions, then you really can't speak from this experience and in my opinion, you will never be as good a lash tech because you will not be as inspired by the service. You will not have as much experience in the service. You will not know from first hand perspective what to do and how to do it for the best client care retention. You just won't be speaking from a place of experience, like true experience to your clients. And that's really gonna show through in your work. So if you have never had lash extensions and you were wanting to sign up for a course, you don't know what course you want, the best thing to do is start getting some lash extensions. Do not go for the bargain basement lash extensions, the ones that are $60 for a full set. This is not the experience you want to learn to provide for someone. So you do not wanna be learning experiences unless you're maybe looking for comparison reason that would be really helpful perhaps but I would say go to someone who you know is going to be providing the kind of experience you want to be providing to your clients and then invest in that service and really Take time to see how they dress your aftercare, how they coach you for good aftercare. It really takes about three appointments to get into a good cycle with your own lashes and just the habits that you're going to need to form. If you have a really quality lash artist, she will coach you to that and make sure that you're coached to success. So once you learn how to do that for yourself, it is so much easier to speak from experience to your clients. If you don't have that experience, if you have not done it yourself, if you've never, struggle through bad retention to get good retention. You just, just like anything else, if you don't speak from experience, you will always not have as much genuine advice to give to your clients. So I just really challenge you. It's such a small, simple little piece of advice, but if you are looking at being a lash extension artist and you are serious about this, please, please, please go, even if you need to travel, take a vacation, go to a bigger city and research an artist that you want to model or the instructor that you're gonna take the course with that is always the best way in my opinion and develop a relationship with them as a client and really take notes on your experience, take notes on the aftercare instruction and those are the valuable things that you will learn by on the other side of the service that you actually won't necessarily learn by taking the course as thoroughly because you will never learn something as thoroughly from someone telling you it, then you actually experiencing it, internalizing that experience and practicing and living that experience. So please, 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 if you are trying to be a lash artist and if you are serious about it, you're planning on investing your hard earned money, please take a second, have the services, get the experience from a customer perspective and trust me, it is going to pay you back in spades. It is definitely something that you cannot learn from not going through it yourself. Even the way it feels to have someone apply lashes to you and things that feel good, things that don't feel good, you will know this when you are applying them on a human head. Your client will give you some feedback, but there's nothing that is the same. You will never have the same experience as if you were actually having it done yourself. The other added advantage of this, which should go without saying, is you become your own billboard. Especially if you live in a town where lash extensions are not yet super popular, like lots of the small towns in like rural BC or um, perhaps in 
Spokane, Washington, or any of those areas, lots of rural towns across Canada that lash extensions are not there yet. So if you live in one of those towns, you really should go get those lash extensions. Travel even if you have to, because you will be the best billboard. Everyone is going to notice something's different about you. They will likely not know what. And that is like a perfect opening to segueing, talking about your business and why you feel so passionate about it and how you're able to bring that to them. Absolutely the best advertising that you are going to have, the best way to reach out to new client, potential clients, and the best way for you to learn by experience how, what kind of experience you're gonna to want to impart on your clients, how to coach them to get great retention. Because if you don't learn to coach someone to get good retention, and you can learn this a little bit in class, but again, not as seriously as if you are internalizing it by actually going through the struggle yourself. You will always struggle as a client if you do not nail that aftercare portion with your clients and coaching them, learning to coach them to success because it is really a two-way street. There's a lot of things that you're going to do in the studio, but there's a lot of things that you have to talk to your client about too. And so just would really encourage you to go get that experience for yourself. And not to, not to mention, you're gonna love having the extensions. It's gonna save you a lot of time. And it's like, you're, it's like having your uniform on at work. So if you have any other questions about lash courses or what you should do to get prepared to be a lash artist, I would love to help you out. There's so many things that you might not think about, but they will come to you after this video or as you do your research and please dm me i'm at elevatelash.ca my name is jenna i'm the owner of elevate nelson bc we do online training in-person training and we just launched elevate beauty supply i'd be so happy to help you out um completely unbiased perspective straight talking so thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Elevate Yourself podcast and YouTube channel now and we'll see you next week with another topic covering more on Lash Course 101.